So as you can guess it, what's up guys? I'm about to make your bending much more easier and after watching this video, there will be a lot more ease for you to play the song with the bends more easily. So uh, let's get started. So what's basically bending? It's simply just bending the string as you can guess from the name. But what we actually use it for? So suppose we wanna play uh, this note which is on the bottom string seventh fret. And I wanna play this note which is which is actually a, if I guess it's a C sharp. So I wanna play this note. So what I'll do is I'll, I can slide, I can do a hammer on, or I can do a bend, which is a bit hard on the acoustic guitar because of the strings which are a bit thick other than the electric one. So uh, always practice the bend solos on the acoustic guitar if you can, if the bends are not more than a whole step, if it's more than a whole step, you should be doing it on the electric guitar. Otherwise, you really can't bend and the strings will come off. So the first tip which I'll give you guys is to, uh, at the beginning, you might have problem. You might not have the power to do the bends properly. So this is a whole step bend, which means one, two, I'm getting this note. This is half step. This is a whole step. See that? So you can, uh, can try to bend with your ring finger at the beginning. So it can be any note. And uh, for reference, I was just playing uh, uh, Harry Styles' Girl Crush solo because uh, that has some nice bend. So I just like, thought of playing that. Anyway, so uh, ring finger and then just beneath that we have, behind it, we have the middle finger. And then if you want, you can also have your index finger. So now we have the power of the three fingers so we can do the bend much more easier and it gets so easy, right? So These are all whole steps. So if you only use your ring finger, it's gonna be a bit hard. Uh, so you can always use more than one finger. You can have these two as support. And now you can even practice using bending with just one finger like I do. So uh, let's let's learn the solo first. Uh, that will be like a nice practice. So what I do is I do a whole step bend on the G string nine fret. So do the bend first, and then you play the G string. So G seven, G five. Again bend. I'm getting this note. And then I'll do a slide from G seven to G nine. Then B eight, eight to ten on B. After that, I'll go for a whole step bend on the B string 10 fret, so it goes like this. I only use my index finger to that whole step bend. If you can't do that, you can use your ring finger, and as I told you before, you can use these two fingers as well. See that? I'll go back, B8, and then I'll do this. So now I'll play 8 on B, 10 on B. And then I'll play 8 on high E string. I hold the bend on the 10th fret of the bottom string. This note. Then I full step bend on the B string 10th fret. See that? Twice. Then with the pinky, I'll play the bottom string 10th fret. And then I'll come from the bend position. So over here, what I did is, it's not, it's more of like, so I'm coming from this note to this note. So. to 7 B. So we got bend, full step, 5, then full step bend, then slide, full step bend to 12, bend fret full step, all 10, pinky, come down, and I hope that cleared some of your doubt regarding bending. So uh, you can always practice the bending solo on the acoustic guitar. That will really make your fingers much more powerful and it will be like very easy later on to do the solo, same solos on electric guitar. Hope that helps. I'll see you guys back in the next video for more such videos like this. Do subscribe. Bye.